In order to keep this footage as small as possible, I've pasted uh, that chunk of code. You can download the source and um, have a look at it uh, in your own time. Forget that when you email the password, that email may pass through a number of intermediate machines between you and the person you're sending the email to. This means that if the owner of the intermediate machine uh, were a hacker, um, he would read mail passing through his server and build his database of passwords. Never in the same email send both username and password because this basically gives away your account. Emails are not secure and therefore you should always keep that in mind. If you're building or developing systems, you might even look into issues such as password history, forcing a user to change a password every so often. I've mentioned this before, having a password made up such that it cannot be limited, for example, to simply characters. Right, where you can tell a user the makeup has to have two digits, at least two uppercase letters, and two symbols. With commercial logins, you have to try to reach a balance between making life so difficult for the person using your portal that he decides can be bothered to one in which that portal is hanged a few minutes after it goes on. Security should never be something that comes as an after talk. Why? Because normally you will find out that when security is not designed into a portal, into a system, it has considerable shortcomings. I've seen it many times in which a, a person, an owner, develops a portal, initially he thinks it's going to be something small and this picks up. And suddenly there are thousands of users making use of this portal, far more than that person had initially anticipated. Once that portal gains momentum and, and starts having, starts carrying uh, material for registered users only, there are going to be people who will try their best to get registered without uh, paying the expense. And it might not necessarily be, necessarily be a financial uh, payment of an official member. Here, I mentioned this earlier, I display an alert email sent. So that automatically gives away the fact that that account is valid. Mm -hmm. 
bis nach Lalechen, Spitschau, Lulle, Jachmo, Blibli, La Harbitwe, wo die Lassen, wo je. Fine, I'll but in on this form is the show panel. Basically what I'm doing here, I'm going to hide or unhide the panel and change the description accordingly. I'm going to add another form. I'm going to call this access. And in this form, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to display the users. Username and his email this could be the form into which uh, registered users end up here they would have their control panel here they would have all the functionality available to only those who have valid credentials the hacker wants to get to this page if you have financial information or credit card information that could be of interest to a hacker could be also um, related to identity theft it could also be that the hacker would like to access a service against which payment must normally be made hacking initially started off as being a hobbyist uh, thingy right where people would have a bit of fun breaking into a system um, today that has changed right and, and hacking is more of a professional do keep in mind that there is financial gain to be obtained from hacking some people live exclusively of, 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 the, of this sort of action now before logging out it is very important that you clean out any variables you might have saved belonging to that user. You should, if you're designing with certain forms, be sure that uh, you cater for situations in which a user may log in from a public computer. For example, the use of cookies, clearing them and using SSL forms are two things that come to mind when people are using public computers. Now remember that many people are not technical and may not uh, really understand the implications of cookies and whatnot. But if you look at certain portals, they will ask you, are you logging in from a secure computer, or from your own computer? And if you choose no, they will take action to ensure that uh, nothing is retained when the session is closed. 